uh, rationalize the denominator on this one. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll do a numerator one later on. Uh, most of the homework, though, is just denominator stuff. So on this one, let's go ahead and rewrite this as two separate value terms. It seems like a better word. So I got the cube root of 4x squared over the cube root of 9y to the power of 15. <clears throat> yeah, the cube root. Well, some of you guys notice on this that uh, just looking at the denominator, because that's really what we're focusing on here, is I got the cube root of 9 times the cube root of y to the power of 15. And y to the power of 15, the cube root of that would be y to the fifth. So let's go and write that in there. I got the cube root of 9 times the, well, y to the power of 5. So for these, again, just to the denominator stuff, So in the numerator, I still get that cube root of 4x squared, but I don't really care about what that is because, I mean, if we can simplify it, we would, but looking at that, there's no triples of the 4 if we factor the 4 or the x squared out. So um, the y to the power 5 is not radical, so it's rationalized already. What we are worried about is the cube root of 9 right up right up here so 9 I can split up into 3 and 3 that second one didn't come out any better 3 times 3 right now I need a triple and right now I've only got two a pair of threes so what else do I need in the denominator another 3 right now I need another cube root of 3 to be more specific so I need to multiply the numerator by the cube root of 3. All right. Now if I were to multiply these out in the numerator, I would have the cube root of 3 times 4 is 12 times x squared. And then I've got the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And I still got that y to the power of 5. I'm going to move that to the front of that radical stuff. Now the cube root of 27 is 3. So that comes out as a whole value. And in this fraction, just looking at the denominator first, I've got the cube root of 27 is 3. I still got that y to the power of 5. And in the numerator, we've got the cube root of 12x squared. Now usually we would want to just check and make sure that there's nothing we could pull out of this 12. We already know there's not enough x's to pull out of the radical. But 12, right, is 2 times 2 times 3. So there's no triples in 12 to pull anything out and factor out of that.